it's within two miles of the University of Florida, the Hippodrome, Butler Plaza, Shands Hospital, and Cabot Coppers, a location that has been identified as a Superfund site by the EPA for 27 years. What's a Superfund site? A Superfund site is a location that is contaminated by pollutants that pose environmental and health risks. Cabot Coppers, a 170-acre property, was the location of two companies, one that produced charcoal and the other that treated wood. These companies used chemicals like arsenic, chromate copper arsenate, creosote compounds, which are known to have negative health effects during the production process. According to the EPA website, poor handling of chemical waste has resulted in chemicals like these being found in groundwater, soil, and possibly off-site surface water. Located nearby are homes, apartment complexes, and the Murphy Well Field, where GRU gets the gains of a water supply. Beezer East, the company that owns the site, is financially responsible for the cleanup of the site and is working with the City of Gainesville and the EPA. So since this has been a problem for 27 years, why is it still a problem acting out now? Well, the City of Gainesville is extremely concerned that the EPA is moving too, too slowly in their cleanup. They are worried that they're working towards cleaning it up towards industrial standards instead of those stricter residential standards that are in place. This is a problem because the GRU is concerned that contaminants from Cabot Coppers are attempting to leak into the main water source of Gainesville. This is called the Murphy Well Field and is the main drinking source for all of Gainesville, including University of Florida students. Reports have been issued that contaminants could leak into the well as soon as four years from now. This is the drinking water that you use for not only drinking, but cooking, showering, and washing your car. If water like this that has contaminants in it, such as arsenic, is ingested, it could cause many health problems such as cardiovascular issues, neurological issues, and it could even lead to problems of cancer or blindness. The City of Gainesville simply wants the EPA to get moving and to act now well aware of what's happening at the Superfund site. What we're doing now is trying to effectively and efficiently treat this problem as seriously as it is. So basically what we have is trenches and a water pump that's collecting and treating the water. But as we went through this contaminated soil, workers began to notice a different issue that was happening. So we know we have to stop actually and making sure we treat this issue as well. So even with our cleanup efforts, we are still stopping and making sure we're treating each issue as efficiently and effectively as possible. So, we are working with Latter County, the City of Gainesville, and concerned citizens to make sure we're addressing this problem and solving it, not as quickly as possible, but as effectively as possible as well. University of Florida students can get involved in this very important issue by contacting city, county, state officials, and the EPA. Attend public hearings, contact the Stephen Foster Neighborhood Association, or create their own student groups on campus. Visit these websites to contact officials about Cabot Coppers.